porque... Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, God. Thank God. Thank God. Friends, we thank you and we welcome you once again to this, uh, this morning's Desert Evangelism, The Road Less Traveled. We are very glad that you are joining with us today as we delve into the Word of God to discuss issues that help us in our daily lives with as Christians. And uh, once again, today I have with me Isaac Yedu, who is going to be with me for this one hour as we discuss some of the issues that we have uh, pertaining to the things in the church. Last week we were talking about hearing the voice, uh, what the Spirit was saying to the church. Mm. Very important that we hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And today we are going to continue by, I've uh, been talking about having the ear to hear. But before then, whilst I welcome you all, I want to welcome you all once again to this morning's program. And I would like you to take this opportunity to share this video with your friends. And uh, um, invite your friends to tune in this morning to listen to the program, to be part of this movement that we have now, to be part of this teaching, to be part of this discussion. We very much appreciate the comments that you will send to us concerning this program. The issues that we talk about, you can you can give us the comment. We'd like to hear the feedback from you. Comment, uh, send us a comment, drop us a comment. What do you think about it? What are the things that you would like us to talk about it? The things that you, I mean, you may not understand or would like us to elaborate more on it. We'll be, we'll be very much appreciative if you can drop us those notes so that we can talk about it in the in the in the in the broadcast. Even whilst we are even on air now, if we find there are any comments, we will try to uh, incorporate it into it and then talk about it live whilst we are on today. So um, yes. Uh, drop by Christ Redeemer Church, Toronto, Canada, our YouTube channel, and uh, mm -hmm. you find the, pro the, the some of the programs or the discussions that you may have missed. 
Uh, there are ones that uh, the ones that we talked about last week with uh, uh, Brother Isaac and then Brother Ima. And uh, there are others that, we, uh, I mean, uh, so many of them that we've done throughout the, the year. Um, for this particular um, discussion, this series, this is the third part that we are talking about, mm -hmm. uh, hearing the voice of the Spirit. Because Jesus Christ uh, admonished the church in Laodicea mm -hmm. that they were spending their time on things that was not meaningful, um, that they thought that they were rich, but they were rather poor. They were boasting about their wealth, but they failed to realize that it was not the material things of the world that makes them rich. Mm -hmm. The person of their, their, their eloquence, their vision and everything, and mm -hmm. Christ admonished them that they were blind. Mm -hmm. Naked. That, 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 that they were blind. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, he, he also spoke to them and then cautioned them that um, they should repent. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are trying to drum around now, that mm -hmm. the church now will repent from the things that we think we are doing that is right. And we do the things that we think that it's right and that is wrong because we are not hearing what the Spirit is saying to the churches. It's very important that in this last days, in this our generation, that we, we are able to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. If we do, we end up doing the things that we feel is right and uh, we end up not I've uh, been doing what God wants. Mm -hmm. So once again, welcome, uh, 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 Brother Isaac. Um, do you have you, before we go into it? I saw that uh, maybe um, Brother uh, Emmanuel might be joining us. I'm not sure, but uh, mm -hmm. if he does, we will we'll, mm -hmm. we'll put on and uh, let's see. Let's hear what he has. But before yeah. we start this, I mean, do you have anything to recap from what we did last week? Um, something that you want to tell the listeners? Um, really, it's, it's all that you, you have said. Um, I, I, I believe, um, as you said, the message of our Lord Jesus Christ to the Church of Laodicea um, is going on among the, 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 the churches today. And therefore, um, it is very, very timely that we are getting this message um, from the Lord through the, the, the Holy Spirit that we will, we will consider our ways and we, we, we will, by the grace of God, repent, change our direction, change our mind as yeah. to what the Spirit is um, telling us because he, he, he desires for us to, to have the best and do the best. Mm -hmm. um, and as the word of God says, he does not desire for anyone to perish and therefore, it is it, very important for us to, to take this into heart, not as a word of condemnation and to make anyone guilty, but as a word from a loving father mm -hmm. for us to reconsider things and you know um, come back to the right path that we will bring glory and honor to his name and for the advancement of his great kingdom, which are all good for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah brother, brother Isaac, you know, you just said something here that is, it's, it's, it's very important and dear to my heart. I, I wonder if you could elaborate a little bit to our viewers. You know, you just mentioned about the will of God for us. You know, mm. this is one thing that I believe that is, is missing. It's, it's missing from the understanding of the people of God these days, the will mm. of God for us. Can you elaborate a little bit on it for our, our viewers? I mean, having the, I mean, to understand the, what the will of God is for his people. Mm. Um, the, the, the little I can... It, it, it's quite an exhaustive um, mm -hmm. thing to, to, to talk about. But the little I, I can um, say um, is that um, God will for us is his, his thought and intention, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. his plan for us uh, as, as his sons, as, as his church. Yes. And therefore, we can see from scriptures the many things that God desires for us to, to, to go through or to have. For example, God desires for man to be saved and therefore he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, as 
a substitution for, for sin, mm -hmm. to die. And through that message for us to, to, to be saved. And so God's will for us was for us to be saved, for everyone, every man on earth to be saved. And therefore, he provided the way for us to be saved. God's will for us, his thought and intention for us, especially as we are talking about the church, mm -hmm. the body of Christ, is for us to manifest his glory. It's for us to know his way, to be his rightful ambassadors, representatives mm -hmm. on earth. And therefore, as we submit and cooperate with him through the power and the ministration of the Holy Spirit, then we manifest his will. His will is done in us and through us mm -hmm. to the glory of his name and for the advancement of his Amen. kingdom. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, you see, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, oh, well, I see that Brother Emmanuel has joined us. Friends, Brother Emmanuel has been able to join us. Oh, at, thank uh, God. You know, you know, uh, there was, a, a, I mean, a very big storm, I mean, a windstorm in <laughs> Turkey. And uh, Brother Emmanuel, Emmanuel lost, lost the, they lost the power in his place. Mm -hmm. And so we thought that he wasn't, but you see, God is very wonderful. Now mm -hmm. restored, he has got, I mean, power restored to his area, and then he has been able to join us. Brother Ima, welcome. God bless you for joining us again this morning. Yeah, welcome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah, Thanks. Yeah, that's good. So we are talking, we are, we, are, we, are just, we are just about starting to get into, you know, uh, Brother Isaac, I, thank you very much for elaborating talking to us about the will of God because this Thanks morning to God. as I was as I was meditating the Lord God laid this upon my spirit you know because when you begin to talk about issues of the believers people most a lot some believers I'm not saying all but some mm -hmm. believers begin to shrink into their into their self you know mm -hmm. I mean they hate to hear that maybe they are doing something that they need to change from mm -hmm. you know but Christ said that those that he loved he rebukes yeah. You know, remember that Christ was not speaking to to the world when He spoke in a, in in in, in a, um, Revelation chapter number three, and mm -hmm. when He said in, in Revelation chapter three verse twenty that behold I stand at the door and knock, mm -hmm. and He was not speaking to the world; He was speaking mm -hmm. to the church, yeah, His people, His own people, mm -hmm. the, the, the 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 church amongst whom He walked. So you know, sometimes. We, I mean, we should be open. The will of God, the Bible says, Jesus Christ Himself said, the will of God is to do, uh, 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 mm -hmm. is to, is to do what? Is to obey or to to, to mm -hmm. believe in, the, in His Son, the one that He has sent. Yeah, that's the work of God. The work mm -hmm. of God is to believe in the Son. And so, mm -hmm. when we believe in Him, then we believe in whatever He tells us. Uh, when He tells us that we are going wrong, then we have to believe Him that we are going wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he has no reason to find fault against us mm -hmm. just because he wants to find fault. Yes. Uh, yes. He, he, he finds fault as he sees it. And mm -hmm. he does not just only point out to us our fault. You know, mm -hmm. many of us sometimes we like to tell people what is wrong with them. Yeah. The churches now we like to point at what the society is doing that is wrong, but mm -hmm. we don't have we don't have clue or the solutions for them. Mm -hmm. We only have the, the, the I mean the, the inclination. To mm -hmm. condemn or to 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 point out, but mm -hmm. if you are pointing out, you should have a solution. Yeah. Now, um, there was a, a one of our a place that I worked before. You know, our, our first executive director CEO once mm -hmm. said that you know, don't come to me with a problem. Come yeah. to me with a problem and a solution. Solution. Yeah. You know, just don't come and tell me what the problem is. Tell mm -hmm. me what the problem is and give me a solution. Mm -hmm. okay? So that or, is or, or at least have have something in mind that will correct that problem. Yes, yes, at least, yeah. <laughs> I mean, your, your solution might not be might, might not be the, the right one, but yeah. at least you have something it's to a offer. Start. Yeah, that it's a start. Something to offer, and mm -hmm. that is what we do here on uh, on this desert evangelism, the road less traveled. Mm -hmm. You know, we are trying to reach the people who uh, uh, who live in the road less traveled. You know, there are areas where people. I mean, we'll, we'll rather not go, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they would not pass through a place mm -hmm. like Samaria, you know, mm -hmm. in, the, in the days of Jesus. People yeah. would not go through the cities of Samaria because yeah. of the, the I mean, I mean, the, 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 the culture, 
Mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, how do these people get the message if you don't get to them? So uh, on this desert evangelism, we are trying the best that we can to reach everybody, mm -hmm. not only the saved, but also to the unsaved. But today we are talking- And, and, and uh, even as you made that point too, um, one of the things that came into mind is, also there are things, some experiences as individuals and as churches that we, won't, we, we should not have to have mm -hmm. if we are listening oh, to the yeah. voice of the spirit. Ah. And as the Bible says, the whole scripture is written for, for our good, for, for our example. And therefore, even as we are talking about these things, by the grace of God, we are save, some of us is saving us from doing things that we should not do, and that will lead us into issues that will not end well for us. Yes, that's good. That's good. So, um, uh, brother, might you have something to chip in before we start today's today's? I mean, uh, topic. Yeah, the letter I would say is uh, as you were saying, uh, Pastor. Um, it is very important uh, for for God to rebuke and sometimes chasten us, so that uh, especially those that of us that are in the body of Christ because we have become the living epistles to which that the world looks up to. So uh, there's a saying that uh, the world doesn't see Christ, but mm -hmm. they see us and yes. the Christ that is in us. Mm -hmm. So if we are going wayward and God doesn't deal with us mm -hmm. first before he deals with the world, then mm -hmm. whatever that he did from the very beginning will not become meaningful. Just mm -hmm. like when Christ came, he said he was sent to the lost house of Israel. He had mm -hmm. to deal with the people of Israel before he dealt with those outside. So it is very important. Whoa, 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 that whoa, whoa. That is, that is, now I get it. Now I get mm -hmm. it. That is very mm -hmm. important. Can you please, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean I repeat that for our viewers, you know, <laughs> about, about how God takes care of his people before he, he starts taking care of others. You know, if mm -hmm. God is going to rebuke the world, he's mm -hmm. going to rebuke his people first. First, exactly. Yeah. Save the world, he's going to save his people as well. I'll be mm -hmm. first, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that, that, that's very important for the believers nowadays. Can, 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 you, can you say that again, please? The people <laughs> want to hear more about yeah. it. So, just to recap uh, God has to deal with we Christians first, his children. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. you, you, you have to always deal with those inside before mm -hmm. you are, because those that are with you are your representatives. Just like mm -hmm. he said, we are ambassadors in Second Corinthians. Uh, mm -hmm. 511 thereof, he said, we are the mm -hmm. ambassadors. So if I'm mm -hmm. going to send out an ambassador to represent me, I need to make sure that he is with me and he is for me. Just mm -hmm. like the Holy Spirit is in us and is with us and is for us. So then we'll be able to go out there and be good ambassadors to our father. So it is very important that he rebukes us and chastens us. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, friends, you are, if, if you just tune in, this is desert evangelism, the road less travel coming to you from Christ Redeemer Church, Toronto, Canada. And uh, once again, I have with me here Brother Isaac and uh, Brother Ima, uh, who are here to for us to discuss this uh, morning's issue. Um, let's get to what a little bit about what we want to talk about today. Mm -hmm. You know, like I began by saying that last week we talked about, I mean, uh, what hearing what the, 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 the Spirit had, was saying to the churches. Mm -hmm. We brought about a little bit about what the Spirit was telling the churches that the mm -hmm. churches were not hearing. But today, mm -hmm. I want us to talk about uh, having the ear mm -hmm. to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus Christ said in the Revelation, in his conclusion uh, to the church mm -hmm. in Laodicea, he said that he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Mm -hmm. How can you hear if you don't have the ear? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have an ear? Mm -hmm. And that's what we, 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 we're going to try to talk a little bit. We cannot be, all, uh, I mean, uh, bring everything out, but the, the, uh, the little that we can bring to help the believing body mm -hmm. understand what Christ meant when, mm -hmm. he, when, he, when he made that statement that he who had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. You know, mm -hmm. you may have an ear, but it takes a special training to hear the Spirit. Mm. I want to say that again. You may have an ear, mm -hmm. but it takes a special training to hear the spirit. Mm. Jesus Christ is, 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 is imploring the people, the church members, the believers to be in tune 
and to hear the spirit. Mm-hmm. And it takes a special training for you to hear the spirit. You know, uh, when we say having an ear, having an ear for something is hearing what others don't hear. Mm-hmm. You know, this hear, hearing or having an ear, it's not, it's, it's not a, a, I mean, a, a, an English phrase that just popped up when Jesus Christ came. You know, it's a phrase that, mm-hmm. that is being used even around now. Having an mm-hmm. ear for something, they tell you that, oh, this guy has an ear. This child has an ear for music. They have an ear for this. Mm-hmm. That they, they, I, mean, I mean, they have a special, I mean, uh, propensity to, to grasp onto something, to hear, you know, mm-hmm. because to have an ear for something is to be always in tune and in expectation. Mm-hmm. You know, if I have an ear, if I have an ear, somebody said, uh, give me your ear. Yeah. Give me, give me an ear, meaning that give me, give me your attention. Yeah. Give me your expectation. So, you know, to have an ear for the spirit, to me, means that you have to have attention for the spirit. Mm-hmm. You have to be in, 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 in expectation of the, of, the, of the spirit. There may be so many noise around you. Yeah. But if you have an ear, you would hear the particular one that you are looking for. Mm-hmm. I'm saying. The other day, I used an, an, an analogy of uh, the frequencies that are in the air, right? Yeah. And you want to tune to a particular station. Mm-hmm. Within that, within that, 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 that frequency, I mean, bandwidth, I mean, mm-hmm. that, within that bandwidth, there are so many frequencies in there. Mm-hmm. But you are looking for a very particular one. Mm-hmm. And so the one that you are looking for, you search it and you, 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 you I mean, uh, latch onto that particular one. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when they say somebody has an ear for music, the notes, it means that they are able to pick up some, some, some notes within the song or the music that others don't hear. Yeah. Right? So, 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 so when we are hearing the spirit, the ear that have an, the spirit means that to have, an, to have an ear which is able to pick with, among all the, the noise that is going on in the world. The mm-hmm. noise or the frequencies that is going about, you are able to pick the particular one, the right one, out of mm-hmm. the so many. Oh yes. You now you hear this. You hear this church saying that. You hear this ministry preaching that. This mm-hmm. very particular studies that we are doing. Mm-hmm. You can Google it and you find so many interpretations of that scripture. Mm-hmm. I call it the noises around. But mm-hmm. what is the spirit really say? What is the right one from all that you are reading? Mm-hmm. Now. We, 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 we commonly say that the, the internet or the, 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 the internet is filled with everything that you want to know. Yeah. That is correct. But which mm-hmm. of them is the right one? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which of them is the right one? That is having the ear to mm-hmm. ask this day. In our generation, when we are saying that we are hearing the spirit of God or mm-hmm. we have the ear to hear, it means that we, are, we, have, the, we have the ability to, 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 to reject all the noise around the very particular voice or the particular will of God. That's why mm-hmm. I wanted to elaborate a little bit about the will of God. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. being able to latch on to what is really the right thing, the truth. Mm-hmm. Even though we know that the spirit of truth is with us, yeah. it behooves us to be able to be able to pick up his voice mm-hmm. and tune it. You know, and until that we are able to do this, we we cannot. We, we, I mean, we we cannot have that ear. Mm. You know, to have an ear means that you have to have a focus on the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you have to have your attention tuned on the Holy Spirit. You have mm. to be in ex- constant expectation that He's going to be speaking. You know, He's not. The Holy Spirit is not, is not going to tell you that, um, brother Ima. Anyway, at uh, two o'clock today, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, Brother Isaac, and tomorrow, five o'clock, I would like to talk to you. No. We should be in an expectation and in tune that any moment he can speak to us. Mm-hmm. We should be in a system whereby it looks like if you blink, you mm-hmm. lose it. Mm. You know? And that is having the ear. Mm. That is having the ear. There are so many people who are born again. There are people who are, uh, what, what do I call them? 
uh, I said, maybe uh, saved, uh, and yet not in tune with the spirit. Yes. Because there are so many garbage things going around there. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, uh, they don't know which one to, to pick. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I was, I, I was um, uh, having a discussion the other day with, with, with mother. Mm -hmm. And she kind of said, but it's okay, then, then, okay, then, Pastor, then with all these people on the TV and this preacher, how do I know that this one is correct and this one is not correct? Mm -hmm. You know, and that is where in tune with uh, having the ear, yeah. you have the ear, you hear somebody speaking mm -hmm. or, or preaching, and you would know that mm -hmm. that is not from the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is not from God. Mm -hmm. That is not biblical. That is not mm -hmm. what God wants us to do. This mm -hmm. is not from him. Mm -hmm. That means that we have the ear to hear. that can hear. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and, and Paul in his time acknowledged this thing. And so I, I would like us to, I mean, to take a couple of, I mean, uh, of scriptures. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we, we don't just want to talk about it. We just want to go by scriptures. Yeah. And we want to, by, by scriptures, mm -hmm. I mean, understand what it means to have the ear to hear. Mm -hmm. Because Paul wanted these people to have the ear. Mm -hmm. hear. He wanted them to be able to be in a position to know exactly what God wanted and where God had placed them. So mm -hmm. uh, let us turn our Bibles to Colossians chapter number one, verse number nine to 15. And uh, I, uh, Isaac, if you don't mind, would you read it for us when you stand there? Colossians chapter 1, verse 15 to... Uh, Colossians 1, 5, uh, 9 to 15. Oh, 9 to 15. Yep. Yeah. And I read. Mm. I'm reading from the um, NIV version. Okay. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through mm -hmm. all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Mm -hmm. And we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may place him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, mm -hmm. growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, mm. so that you may have the great endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the Father mm. who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints mm. in the kingdom of light. Mm. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. You see, now with this here, I want us to just dissect a little bit. We'll see what Paul is trying to bring the, 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 the attention uh, mm -hmm. of the church in, in, in Colossae to uh, try to bring their, their attention to. He begins by saying that for this reason, we also, since the day that we heard, do not cease to pray for you. Mm -hmm. Now, he, he, he's, Paul is telling us there is a reason why he's not ceasing to pray for them. Mm -hmm. And he's going, to be, he's going to tell us why he, sees, he's, 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 he hasn't ceased praying. Because, you know, I, I, I don't want you to, look sight, to, to lose sight of this scripture and mm -hmm. also from Revelation chapter 3, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the church in Laodicea, because it, I, I, want us, I want us to look at it in parallel so that we can see what is really going on there, why mm -hmm. Jesus is rebuking the church and what they mm -hmm. are lacking, what led to Jesus Christ rebuking the church. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul says that I have not ceased to pray for you and to ask. In his prayer, he is asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Let's take that, that phrase, for example. Paul is saying that he wants them, he explained that they should be filled with the knowledge of God's will. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, you know, people may be doing the things that they, 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 they like to do, but mm -hmm. it will be outside the will of God. God, yeah. 
they will be doing things that they feel is good, mm -hmm. but it's outside the will of God. That is exactly what the church in Laodicea was doing. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ was pointing to them that they were doing the things that was outside the will of God. He said, to be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. Wisdom and spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. Paul wants to understand, them to understand that there, are, there is the will of God that, that, that supersedes um, human understanding. Yeah. There is the will of God which human understanding cannot comprehend. Mm -hmm. The will of God which human understanding doesn't make sense. It mm -hmm. takes another level which is in the spiritual sense mm -hmm. to be able to understand the will of God. Mm -hmm. Because you may be drumming and you may be yelling and then singing and then shouting in prayer, but you mm -hmm. may it may be outside the will of God. Yeah. And then you'll be asking yourself, well, the Bible says that we should lift up our hands, every uh, I mean holy hands, and then pray and then and then and then sing song and dance. So that is the will of God. Mm. But when you look at it in a spiritual way, you may mm. end up seeing that the spirit may be telling you that no, 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 this is not how I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Or oh, this is not the will of God for this moment. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, hearing the, the the having an ear for the spirit is is having being able to know at every moment in the turn or your life or your mm -hmm. particular circumstance what the spirit wants you to do. Yeah. What he, what he, the spirit told you to do yesterday might not be the same thing he wants you to do today. Mm -hmm. The fact that he told you yesterday to do this does not necessarily mean that he wants you to do that today. Mm -hmm. And that is why you should have the ear to be always hearing. Mm -hmm. And the ear, not only the physical ear, but the spiritual and the spiritual ear that, mm -hmm. that I mean that comes from mm -hmm. I mean our closeness with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's what I believe Paul is saying here. Yeah. In his will, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, mm -hmm. being fruitful in every good work. Mm -hmm. Being fruitful in, you see, if we do not have an ear that can hear, we may be doing the work that are not fruitful. Mm -hmm. We may be doing work that are not fruitful. The church these days are doing things that are not fruitful. And as long as they, what they are doing is not fruitful to God, their existence and their, 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 their power within will not be fruitful either. Mm -hmm. You know, it says that, and then increasing in the knowledge of God. The key point is mm -hmm. increasing in the knowledge of God. Yeah. You know, I want to pause here for a, a little bit and, 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 and then try to, 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 to see, I mean, what you make of this, the, this few. I mean, a verse that Paul is telling us here, mm -hmm. you know, bringing it into focus upon on how to mm -hmm. have the ear or having the ear. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul wants the people to understand that you need an ear. You need a, mm -hmm. you need something that will bring you mm -hmm. something that will let you know what God wants, mm -hmm. and it is the ear that allows us to hear. Yeah, okay. that's why he's using the word ear. Or mm -hmm. the, the body part ear, because it, mm -hmm. is, it is by the ear that 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 I mean, uh, sound and, and then uh, I mean, voices are, are transmitted into our brain to make sense to us. Yeah, right. That is why he's using that. But mm -hmm. actually, he's talking about the spiritual situation between mm -hmm. the church and then God. Amen. 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 So, do you have do, do, do you have something that you want to add before we go on? Yeah, Pastor. So, um, as we're saying, it is it is it is a very valid statement, and uh, it's something that uh, I believe God wants us to look at, especially when talking about His knowledge, mm -hmm. right? So, when you see from the well, from verse seventeen of the Revelation chapter, uh, verse fourteen, so He yeah. begins by even showing them that for 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 them saying that they are rich, I have mm -hmm. become wealthy, I need nothing. But the Spirit is telling that because you can't hear me, you do not even realize that, that you are wretched. Yes. You are, yes. you are poor. You are blind. Mm -hmm. But you think you don't need anything. 
because mm-hmm. you are not in tune with my spirit. Yes. And Jesus Christ has been left at the door. Mm-hmm. And he's mm-hmm. done that he's knocking. If he comes in, then he is going to make us be able to see these fruits that we see mm-hmm. in our Colossians. That yes. we, our, our good to bring us to good works and will bear fruit in, 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 in his kingdom and do what his will and his purpose is. So yeah, so he, he evidently shows it in verse 14, um, verse uh, from 17, 17 down yeah. to 18. Then he advising us to come by from him because we have to be in tune in him. How do we get in tune with him as well? It's through our fellowship and constant fellowship with him all the time. Then we can develop this ear that we can hear through his word, through prayer, through worship, and so on. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank amen. you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother Isaac, what, what do you want to tell our, our listeners? Yeah, uh, I believe that's that that's all that you, you and Brother Emmanuel have said, basically. And um it, when we read, um, we go back to the book of John. Mm-hmm. It, um, John chapter 15, Jesus Christ says, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. I oh, see, you are the branches. If you remain in me, if you abide in me, yes. then you bear more fruit. Mm-hmm. And therefore, even as we are talking about having the ear to hear, mm-hmm. and 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 like I was asking you the question the other day. How can we have ears, fiscal ears, and cannot hear? How can we have fiscal eyes and not see? And the answer is that it's more spiritual than physical. In the kingdom or in in our relationship with God, we hear and we see with our heart, not our ears and our, our eyes. And therefore, even as... Brother uh, Emmanuel said, as the hearing and the seeing comes from the relationship and fellowship with the Father, with Jesus Christ. And therefore, if we abide, if we align, if we are in tune, always it's like a husband and the, and, and the wife in the house. Mm-hmm. How can I have my my loving wife around me and not be expecting or be eager to to talk or to hear from from him or her. No. And therefore, we should always, as you are saying, to be in tune, in expectation to hear, because it is in hearing that we hear right. Okay, okay. It is in hearing from the Spirit the Bible says, who knows the mind of God? Who knows the mind of God? It's only the Holy Spirit who knows the mind of God. And he is here to reveal the mind, the will, the thoughts, the ways and the plans and the purpose of the Father to us. And therefore, if we are not abiding and are lying in tune, then we cannot hear. And all that we will do will have a form of godliness, but... It's, it we'll has no power. power. We will be denying the power. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so thank you, thank you very much, uh, believers uh, and friends. You are watching Desert Evangelism: The Road Less Traveled. Send us your comments. I mean, uh, down there, just put a comment in there. If you are watching us live on Facebook, there is the, com- the, the, the below there. There is the, the the comment box there. Just click on it and then send us a comment. Let us. Let, 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 let us hear from you and then uh, uh, we, can, we, can, we can talk about things together. You see, and we are talking about uh, having the ear to hear, having the ear to hear. This is very important to have the ear to hear. And as Paul was saying to the church in Colossia and in, 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 in Colossae about his prayer for them was that they will be in tune with the Holy mm-hmm. Spirit. Mm-hmm. That they will have the ear enough to, I mean, to hear. I mean, basically, the prayer is saying that he's praying that they will have the ear. They will have. They will be able to have, to have the ability mm-hmm. to hear. Mm-hmm. But it is only by the with the ability to hear what the spirit is saying, mm-hmm. will they be able to bear fruit? Yeah. 
the they end. cannot bear fruit or they cannot be they, are, they, they cannot have a good works without mm -hmm. I mean without hearing what the spirit want them to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it is the spirit it, it, who, who tells us the will of God for us to do, and then mm -hmm. when we have done it, then God will characterize it as a good work or a bad work. Yes. But, but if we are not hearing, then mm -hmm. we end up doing the works of our own. Yeah. We do the works of our own in our churches, in our lives, mm -hmm. and then we presuppose that that is enough for God. Yeah. You know, I remember that Jesus Christ in John, after, after in, in, I believe it was John chapter number nine, having healed, I mean, that blind, that blind guy, the guy who mm -hmm. was blind from the, from the birth. Mm -hmm. And then during the, one of the exchanges with the with the with the with the with the, 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 the priest and the teachers was telling them how blind they were. They were they were, they were, they were, they were resistant. Said, no, we are not blind. We are not blind. And mm -hmm. Jesus said, "Go, sure, that's okay. Mm -hmm. you no, know, if you are not blind, that is okay. But if you had admitted that you are blind, then maybe you could be healed, and then you don't have the problem for yourself. But as long mm -hmm. as you say you are not blind, blind. yeah, whatever you are doing, you are liable." Mm -hmm. To the consequence of it, you know. So if we are, if if we are if we are deaf and we are not here, we don't have the ear to hear the spirit, mm -hmm. and then we are doing whatever we are doing, and we refuse to understand that we are, we are we are not hearing the spirit, then mm -hmm. we are liable for every consequences for the misdeeds that we do, mm -hmm. because you said you you are, you are not deaf, which means that you mm -hmm. heard the spirit telling you that don't do this, mm -hmm. and you did it, which means that that is disobedience. Mm -hmm. so you are liable for the, whatever the consequence is. But Jesus mm -hmm. is speaking to the, to the Pharisees said that they are blind. If you accept that you are blind, then maybe you can be excused for the things that you did. Mm. And your sins may be forgiven you. Yeah. Since that you are not blind, mm -hmm. then you are responsible for all the evil that you have been doing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we can bring this same analogy to hearing, having the ear to hear. Mm -hmm. When we hear when we have the ear to hear the the, the, uh, the spirit, then we can hear what he's telling us to do mm -hmm. and what he's telling us not to do. Not to do. Right? But yeah. if Jesus Christ rebukes us and we say, no, 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 Jesus, wait a minute, I have the ear, I have the ear. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, okay, you have the ear, that's okay. So you had the ear, you mm -hmm. heard the spirit say that don't do this and you did it anyway. Mm -hmm. You cannot come back and say, oh no, that one I did not hear. Mm -hmm. Because you, you claim that you have the ear. You know, yeah. since we need to acknowledge our rebukes. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus Christ said, repent. Yeah. Repent. Mm -hmm. Repent. And, I, and, and, and I will, I will, he who overcomes, I will, I, I will allow it to sit with me on my throne. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's not out there to condemn you. Yeah. Jesus is not out there to condemn us, the churches. Yeah. He's here to rebuke. Mm -hmm. To correct, but not mm -hmm. to to condemn. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, um, Emma, why don't you read this for us? Uh, what Paul uh, says again in Ephesians chapter number fifteen. Uh, sorry, chapter number one, verse fifteen to twenty. Ephesians chapter one, verse fifteen to twenty. Ephesians chapter 1, 15, 15 to, 20. to 20. And I read the word of God. This is why, this is why, since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I never stop giving thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. 18, I pray that the eyes of your hearts may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what is the wealth of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the mighty working of his strength. Amen. To 20? Yeah, I read 20. 20, okay. He exercised this power in Christ by raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens. Amen. 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 I, I just want to point out three mm. short, I mean, uh, phrases in here. 
Mm -hmm. This is what seems to be in all of Paul's uh, prayer to the churches. Mm -hmm. The spirit of wisdom, yeah. revelation, and then the knowledge. Mm -hmm. These three things you find always. Mm -hmm. And you will see that you can, you can bear with me that wisdom, revelation, and knowledge cannot come unless you have an ear to hear the spirit. Yeah. Paul is trying to tell the church in Ephesus here once again that, look, guys, I've been praying for you. And this is what I've been praying for. Picking up from verse 17, he says that, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, mm -hmm. may give you the spirit of wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, wisdom is very important. You know, yeah. you're getting, the Bible says, get what? Get an understanding. Understanding. Um, Mm -hmm. And also, we know we know that we have to have revelation. Revelation. We have to know not by not not, not by mere reading, mm -hmm. but revelation means that insight. Yeah. Something that is not very seen with the other physical eyes. So yeah. revelation here will mean the insight, the mm -hmm. inner working. Mm -hmm. You know, take it. Let's use this term: inner working. Revelation mm -hmm. meaning. The inner working. Yeah. Paul, Paul said, I want you to have this, the inner working of God. Mm -hmm. How God works from the inside out. out. Yeah. How God does things. You know, the way that God does things is what the Bible calls revelation. Mm. It's not talking about visions and seeing apparitions and seeing mm. the figures and all the. No, that's not what it means. It means the revelation there means that inner working. Mm -hmm. the, the things that happen inside, the things that mm -hmm. are not outside, the things that are not plain, inner mm -hmm. working is things that are not open to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, revelation is not open to everybody. Mm -hmm. Revelation is open to only the one that seeks it. Yeah. Revelation comes to the one that seeks it. Mm -hmm. You know, God gives the revelation, he doesn't give to you, he gives to me if I seek it. If mm -hmm. God gives the revelation to you, he gives to you, he doesn't give to me. Mm -hmm. The other day, Imam was telling me about God, what God had revealed to him. And I'm saying, this is what he's telling you. Okay, let's go and pray about it. And let's, let's ask God to make it much more clearer for us. Mm -hmm. He gave you the revelation. Revelation is the, the inner working of God given to people. Mm -hmm. So Paul is insisting that, look, as a church, we have a prayer that you know you get the inner working of God. Mm -hmm. You know, are, are you getting the point? I hope that the, the, our, our viewers... I understand what we are trying to draw here. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that the God, uh, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom. That you are you, that the spirit of wisdom is the one that makes you know that God has an has a, has has a, has an inner working mm -hmm. revelation. Because if we don't have wisdom, if you don't, if you are not, I mean, uh, equipped with the, I mean, a spiritual wisdom, you will mm -hmm. not understand that. God has an inner working. Yeah. And what you see with your eyes is not necessarily what God has made it to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we see with our physical eyes is not necessarily what God has made it to be. Remember that this world mm -hmm. has been corrupted by the, yeah. by, 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 by the prince of this world. Yeah. So what we see with the eyes is not necessarily what God want, has uh, planned it to be. So mm -hmm. we have to know the inner working of God how God mm -hmm. does things, how, yeah. how God sees things. And mm -hmm. this cannot happen unless you have the ear to hear. To hear. Mm -hmm. It is the Holy Spirit who will tell us the inner things of God. Mm -hmm. and, and Brother Emma just told us, I mean, I was, yes, Brother Emma told us that, you know, no one knows the mind of, of, of God except yeah. the, the, the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the spirit of God is in us, then, then, then we should know the, the, the inner working of God. Yeah. But people have the spirit of God, but not, do not allow the spirit to give them the inner working of God. That is yeah. mean they don't have the ear to hear. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem that I believe the church is having. And Paul says that I'm praying that you know the inner working of God, the revealed things of God mm -hmm. in the knowledge of him. Mm -hmm. You know, God cannot be known through reading. Yeah. God cannot be known through, I mean, uh, uh, what do you call, even uh, testimonies. Mm -hmm. God can only be known through revelation. And revelation can only come on the inner working of God, can only come about by the Spirit. 
Thank and so if we don't have the ear to hear the spirit, we can never have the knowledge of God. Amen. 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 We can never have the, 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 the knowledge of God. He continues in verse 80 by saying that, that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, mm -hmm. that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Mm -hmm. What are the riches of the glory of his, mm -hmm. of his inheritance in the yeah. saints? Mm -hmm. What is it that God has in us that is so <laughs> precious to him? Mm -hmm. That he, 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 he has gone so far as to make everything available for us. Mm -hmm. We can only know this if we have the ear. To hear. And that is why the, the, the church is, it, it should have the ear to hear. Mm -hmm. If we do not, if the church does not have the ear to hear, or if that if the body of Christ does not have the ear to hear, as we see a lot going about these days, then we will never know the inner working of God. Mm -hmm. We will always be, 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 be I mean, referring to God and attributing things to God as we see with our eyes around us. Yeah. And that is the danger that the church is facing mm -hmm. now. Amen. 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 And, Amen. I, in verse 19, he says, and, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards mm -hmm. us? Yeah. According to the working of his mighty power, yeah. which he worked in Christ when he mm -hmm. raised him from the dead yeah. and seated him at his right hand yeah. in the heavenly places. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Basically, we are here to make the people understand, the body of Christ understand that we need and uh, we need the ear to hear the spirit. Mm. If we are to hear what the spirit is saying, we first of all have to have the ear. Mm -hmm. And we have to pray for each other so that we can we both can have the ear. Oh, yes. All knew that it was important for the church to have the ear. Mm -hmm. but without having the ear, they would never know the inner working of God. They would never know how mm -hmm. to be fruitful or to do anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And look at I mean, Brother Emma, what you want to add something up? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll just add a bit of it as, as we look at a, 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 clip, a critical example is a, a, a prophet Samuel. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when he had no ear to hear what God was saying, when God was mm -hmm. calling out to him, Samuel, Samuel, mm -hmm. because he was clinging to his physical ears, he mm -hmm. went up and went to Eli. Mm -hmm. that Eli, have you called me? He said, no. Mm -hmm. And then he, God called him the second time. He went back to Eli. Have you called me? He said, no. Mm -hmm. Then he, God called him the third time. And Eli, with his spiritual ear, perceived that God is the one that is calling Samuel. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, then he was able to direct Samuel that say this mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. the father when he calls you. So yeah. then when he began to get the ear, the, immediately mm -hmm. he responded. Mm -hmm. The spirit began to speak to him. Yeah. So then, spiritually, he began to hear and that is how we knew and knew of Samuel who became a man uh, obedient to the spirit of God. And the Bible says none of his, everything he spoke from his mouth never fell mm -hmm. to the ground. He became an elite prophet in his mm -hmm. office. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very mm -hmm. great. That's very great. You see, mm -hmm. I mean, the moment that, the moment that, I mean, uh, 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 Samuel got the, 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 I mean, the, the key word from uh, mm -hmm. Eli, saying mm -hmm. that do this. Mm -hmm. When he did it, mm -hmm. his ear was really opened not to hear the sound, not only the sound calling his name, but yeah. actually to hear the voice of God. God yeah. Things that God was saying. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. That's very, um, very, very wonderful. And, and we, can, we can see the, 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 the same um, thing with the story of the one we are reading from. Um, the one um, the Holy Spirit is um, is teaching us through the Apostle Paul. Oh. The, the word of God says, I have plans for you mm -hmm. to bring you to a good end, a, a, a better future. Better and, future. And, and the Apostle Paul was born with the desire to, to know God mm -hmm. and, and to do the work the, the work of God. <laughs> However, we see we see that. Um, all that he began doing, being a Pharisee, as he says, I'm a Pharisee of Pharisee, you know, 
and all those things that he did, he did it in his own knowledge and understanding, thinking he was pleasing God. But on his way to um, Damascus, as he encountered the Lord Jesus Christ, he, he asked, who are you, Lord? He said, I'm, I, I'm Jesus Christ. And as he encountered Jesus Christ, then he began to hear the actual voice of the Lord. And from then, we see a different person. Yeah. Saul became Paul. And therefore, we, we can see it in, 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 in the life of this apostle, even as we are reading from, from his letter. And, and so we, we, we need to, by the grace of God, be in tune with the Holy Spirit. And as he reveals, as, as Pastor was saying, revelation, even when we go deeper into it, does not only give us an insight, it gives us a hindsight, it gives us an oversight. Mm-hmm. you know, about things, a foresight. So, so it, it is amazing. It is amazing when we get revelation from God through the Holy Spirit ministration. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Very important. Yeah, like Isaac was saying, you know, it's very important that we come to us. Uh, the revelation, the inner working, is not only the hindsight, but the foresight, and then the insight, and then all the sights. Yeah, the oversight, all the sites. All the sites. Yeah, <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. all the sites. Let's put it over. All yeah. the sites. Yeah. yeah. There to, to make sure that, that we don't lose anything, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and so mm-hmm. you know, uh, quickly, I just want us, our time is up, but I just want us to read a very short, I mean, uh, I mean scripture verse here, then uh, uh, we can bring our like our art, uh, Brother Ima, to sum it up for the young viewers that are watching us today. You know. Um, in Ephesians chapter number uh, three, uh, again uh, verse. Uh, uh, I just want to read verse sixteen. You know mm-hmm. where it says that that you would this Paul praying again for the church, mm-hmm. and he said that that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory, he mm-hmm. mean the church, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. Mm-hmm. That's what the inner man is. What I, I want to I, I, I want to stress on. You know, mm-hmm. I want to talk about this, the revelation, the insight. Mm-hmm. I want us to understand that, I mean, Paul is praying that the people, the church, will have the, they have the, 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 I mean, the, 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 the riches of God that are strengthened. And that strength God, that God is giving to us mm-hmm. is the might through the spirit so that to build the inner man, the inner man who to uh, uh, allow us to have the ear to hear the spirit. That is what mm-hmm. is very important. You know, we may not have time to go, uh, I mean, any deeper today. Mm-hmm. But uh, this is what I want to, I, I, I want to leave you with. Uh, in that, it is very important that the church these days have an ear, you know, to hear what the Spirit is saying. The Spirit is continually speaking. Mm-hmm. The Spirit of God is speaking to the church each and every day. Uh, but we need an ear to hear. Mm-hmm. Without the inner working, Without the inside revelation, without the power working from within, we will not be able to have this ear to hear. And we will end up doing being the same like the church in Laodicea, doing whatever we want inside while Jesus Christ is kept on the outside. So yeah. as our time is, is, is suspended, I'd like uh, Brother Ima to conclude this for us and then uh, speak to our, our, our younger audience who are out there about, about this uh topic about hearing the uh having the ear to hear what the spirit is saying to the church amen thank you pastor Mm -hmm. yeah so what i would like to say to conclude uh from all that we are um, the holy spirit has revealed to us through our pastor through me through our brother isaac uh it is it is very necessary for us uh, especially we the young ones now to be to be um watchful and and also uh, uh to be very vigilant because uh, as we can see in our, in our churches and our systems now, how we live our Christian life, where uh, it, it looks nowadays like uh, the gifts are more manifesting than the one who gave the gift. 
Uh, it's, it's a clear example uh, showing us that we are not in tune with the spirit of God because if we really in tune, realize that uh, uh, we, the gift was given to us for a purpose uh, mm -hmm. to lead us to know the one behind the gift. Mm -hmm. you, we can see now, and that is what is collapsing most of the, uh, the churches now. And that is what is also taking most of the young ones also away, especially the gift of singing. Uh, mm -hmm. We realize that when, uh, when, when people minister, and uh, mm -hmm. when young ones minister or the young musicians that have come up begin to sing and do uh, what pleases the people, they forget mm -hmm. to, to, to turn to the mm -hmm. one who gave them the gift, why the gift, mm -hmm. then how to even sharpen mm -hmm. the gift and use it in the right way that God has given unto us. And realize that now these, all these young ones, now well, after a while, they begin in the spirit and end up in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they were not able to be in constant fellowship with the one who gave them the gift, thereby mm -hmm. misusing the gift and not profiting from it or bringing it to good works. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the world comes in or the system of the world, which is the enemy, mm -hmm. comes in and uses the same gift to pull them out of, of the kingdom of God, thereby mm -hmm. going astray. So it is very important that even as we handle our gift, we should be able to freely give ear to the spirit. Mm -hmm. Obedience is very important. Is very mm -hmm. and as I was studying the scripture, it led it God led me to to ask me to study about the the, the kingdom of Saul. Mm -hmm. he, he was the exact same. You know when he God sent him in chapter fifteen of first mm -hmm. uh, first Samuel to go and destroy the Amalekites mm -hmm. and destroy everything that they had. Mm -hmm. He went destroyed them and then mm -hmm. took the sheep. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the left the fat ones. Mm -hmm. And he, when Samuel, God spoke to Samuel to go back and tell him, mm -hmm. he said, yes, God told me to go and destroy them. And I did that. But I kept the, uh, the sheep, the, uh, the rams, the, mm -hmm. uh, the goats and everything to sacrifice to God. And God said, he's not interested in your sacrifices, mm -hmm. but your obedience, mm -hmm. your, your ear to be open to him. The only mm -hmm. way we can be obedient is by opening our ears to hear what he's saying and do mm -hmm. the exact thing that he's saying, not what we think mm -hmm. is right for God. Because mm -hmm. our minds cannot mm -hmm. understand the ways of God mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. own strength mm -hmm. cannot do what God wants us to do. So it's always very important for us young ones to humble ourselves. That's why I said he gives more mm -hmm. grace to the hand of and he resists the prop. Mm -hmm. By so doing, Saul lost his kingdom because it could not be established yes. forever. And he left, he, 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 he relegated it to uh, oh, yeah. King David. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And he realized that when David heeded to the voice of God, mm -hmm. how God established his kingdom. Hallelujah. So this is my message to the young ones. Mm -hmm. out there. Let us be obedient. Let us be, be watchful. And let us always also be thankful to God for who mm -hmm. he is and for the love that he has put in us that we may be able to hear him. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much. That's Thank all the you. time that we have for today. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to encourage you, if you are hearing us for the first time, this is Christ Redeemer Church, mm -hmm. uh, bringing you desert evangelism, the road less travel. travel. I mean, traveling on the road less travel to reach all the people, uh, the neglected people, the untouchables, that mm -hmm. we reach all of them. And today, you'll be hearing us talking about having the ear to hear what the Spirit of God has. I hope this has been a blessing to you. If it has, please send us, drop us a comment and um, um, subscribe to our channel on the uh, Christ Redeemer Church Toronto YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel, like it, and then share it with your friends. By so doing, you will be helping to spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are watching us for the first time and you haven't heard about this Jesus Christ that we are talking about, the one who was speaking to the church and then telling them about all, rebuking them of all these things. I would like to introduce him to you. He's the son of God, whom God sent to be the propitiation of our sins. God saw that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so he said, the son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever will believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. If this morning you would accept this Jesus Christ and the gift that He of God that he has, for you, that is salvation. You too can be able to begin to enjoy the benefits of being a born again. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to pray this prayer with me. Father, I thank you for bringing me to hear the message today. Thank you. For I have my sins before you and I repent of all of them. 
I pray and I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I pray for your spirit to come inside me and to help me to lead me to lead a life that is worthy of your calling. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer, I believe that God has forgiven you. And if you will find a very good Bible-based church around so wherever you are, and then be a part of it. Study the word of God. And by all means, join us every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock Eastern time as we go through the desert evangelism, the road less traveled. And thank you very much for joining us, Brother yeah. Isaac and Brother Ima. Uh, next week, we hope that we'll have you um, here also to, uh, to discuss more issues for our people. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Amen. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May he make his countenance fall upon you and be merciful Amen. to you. May his spirit guide you and lead you throughout the week. May you Amen. prosper in all the things that you do, even as Amen. your spirit prospers in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, too. Bye. Bye. Bye.